Hello, it's Jeremy Callahan, and I wanted to welcome you to the final step of the five day to a prototype course. And that's where I'm going to share my screen with you and show you how to use Ionic Creator to create a real life functioning prototype that you can put on your phone, that you can send to phones of the people on your team and get them to test it and get excited. So by now you have all the components, you know exactly what you're going to build. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen right now and walk you through the process and show you how to actually get a functioning app prototype on a phone and on the phone of your team. I'm a creator and you will come to this page, their homepage, and come in and sign up for a free account. If you sign up for a free account, that will allow you to create one prototype. If you need to create more than one, you can sign up for a paid account. I think it's... $20 a month. It's, it's $29.99 a month. And this will allow you to create multiple. So let's get right into it. And once you get to this screen, you click new project. What you will see is the name. So let's call this the five day prototype. And you can see there's different starter menus you can start with. And I'm going to select this one here, which is kind of like a Twitter. It has the lower tabs along the bottom. And this is it. Now you can see it. On the left hand side, top is the names of the pages that were created already. And you'll notice that since this is a tab layout, it gave us three tabs at the bottom, camera, cart, and cloud. And you'll notice over on the top left, there's a page for each one of these three. On this lower section of the left hand side is the components. These are all the things that you can drag and drop onto your pages. There are buttons, there's dividers, and there's all different kinds of things. And then finally, on the right hand side are the elements that are on the page right now. So I'll, I'll walk you through this a little bit. So the first tab is the camera tab. You'll notice if I click on the camera tab that it has this title here. So I can make this whatever I want. I'm going to call this day one. And I'm going to go through this kind of fast. And then this one I will call day two. And then finally, I'm going to go to the third tab and select day one. Three. And you'll notice that there's icons associated with this, and Ionic has hundreds of icons that you can use to change out here. So you can make these icons whatever you'd like. I'll make this one an eyeball just for fun. And you'll see that now here is day one, and if you look over here on the left, it says camera tab default page, which is a horrible name, and that is because these pages have horrible names here. So we can rename these pages to whatever we want. And we'll call this day one. We'll call the next page day two. And then finally, the last page will be day four, day three, excuse me. And so that is how you name pages and have tab controls. And so I will just show you if we want to preview this right in the top of the screen in the middle, there is a eyeball icon. And if I click that eyeball icon, it will show me a preview of what my app looks like. And you'll notice I can click day one and that will take me to the day one page, day two, and then day three. We really haven't built this out much, but we, we will start to, I'll just build it out a little bit so you can see the power of this. Let's go and let's insert a slider. So here's a slider menu, and this actually it just has cats on it. And there you can change these images out and make them full screen. And you'll notice here on the right it says move slide. So if I click this, it'll actually, oh, sorry, over here on this side, on the, the left-hand side, you'll see slide two, slide one, and slide three. So you can add more slides to these. You can make them full screen if that's what you would like to do. And then the only other thing I'm going to do on this page is I'm just going to add a button. And, you know, you can get in here and really see the power of this. So I'm not going to get super deep in it. But here is a button. And we'll just change this to submit. And I'm going to change the color to, I like green. Let's make it green. So now you'll notice on day three, on the page day three, that there's a slider. And let's, let's preview this again. The other thing I want to show you is when you preview, you could also drop this down and we could select an Android phone or we could select an iPad 
We want her to see what it looked like on an iPad. I'm going to change it back to an iPhone. And let's preview it again. And there's our slider. And you can see that I can actually slide through these and hit the submit button. It doesn't do anything at this point in time. For on the submit button, it's right here on the right hand side. It says not linked. Let's just link that to page one. And now let's try it again. So we open it, we can slide through our images, and if we hit submit, it should take us to day one. There you go, we have a back button to day three. So you can start to see the power of how this operates. Now let me show you how to get this to your team so your team can see it. So once you actually have a finalized prototype, what you wanna do is come up here to the top right and click the share button. And the first thing you'll wanna do is make this a public project, so just click public. And you can actually share this URL here with people on your team. The only downside is when you open it up on your phone, you'll see the address bar for the browser, and it doesn't give a great experience. So go ahead and click this one, create a mobile app, and generate a share code. And so what this is going to do is this is going to allow me on my phone right now to actually open this up. So now what I can do is I can open up this share code. So the first thing you want to do is go to the App Store and download the app Ionic Creator. It's for Android and it's for iPhone. Once you have that app installed on your phone, open it up and the first screen you'll see is this screen here. And it says log into your account, which you could log into your account, but if you just wanted to give this to me to test, right below it it says or enter code. So I'm going to click or enter code, and then I'm going to type in this code real fast, and then I'm going to hit preview project. And so the first thing you'll see is it'll open to this. It'll say tap three times if you want to kill the app. So to open it, just tap it one time. And this should open the app. There you can see the app. It says day one, and the camera is highlighted here. If I click on day three, which is the eyeball that we added, it should bring us to our kittens. There's our kittens. We should be able to swipe through them. And then if we tap the green button, it should take us to day one. There you go. It works. So that's the final step of the five day to prototype course. I want to thank you for taking the course. I want to thank you for going through the material. If you have any feedback on it, please give it back to me. I would love to hear it. I hope it helped you out. I hope it helped your project out. I hope your team loves the app you created. And if you want to help take it to the next level and you need some development help, please get in contact with me, jeremycallahan.com. Thank you.